Jai Prabhu Pad. 
ज्ञानतिरांध्य ज्ञानंजन श्लाकया चक्षुर्मिल तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित जैन भूतले स्वयं रूपकदाम्यम ददा स्वदा वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीजुतापतकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवाश श्रीरूप सागर जात सह गण रघुनाथन्वता सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधाकृष्णपादगणलिता श्री विशाखान्वता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा श्रीहरिप्रि वाछाकलतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति विदातस्वामीना नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो वी हैव गैदर टुगेदर इन फ्रंट ऑफ द डीटीज द गुरु परंपरा and uh, now the fire sacrifice will be offered as our means of our vows and <clears throat> regulations that we will be taking just to make our life um, more disciplined and controlled so <clears throat> it's a great opportunity uh, to welcome the new initiates uh, because they will be setting forth on the glorious path of uh, not only liberation but going home back to godhead um, this is a process which is of course serious in the matter of uh, the spiritual uh, progress uh, this process in entails um <clears throat> uh, pancharatri ki vidhi and um, bhagavat vidhi the procedures according to the bhagavat vidhi depends upon the uh, glorification of the holy name uh, glorification of the supreme through his qualitative names um krishna is never given any a uh, meaningless name uh and the <clears throat> um a spiritual process the name should not become different uh from the possessor of the name or the personality whom we address the name as an identity but both are identical and identity means there is something in relation to the identical situation right otherwise why the word identity is given uh identity card and the card is non different than me when you go to work and you put up an id tag right now identity means uh um reality of a being is that i am not a uh, fake id you know? um the id thefts are going on in the corporate worlds in the it worlds and even uh, you name it uh, even at in social world also um, people want to steal the id and and those those whose uh, internet accounts are hacked uh, they are also after the id what is in an id identity 
uh, is the reality of a person. But if we address only to the bodily conception, then again we miss the mark. Identity is not revealed. So self-realization is to bring out our original uh, identity in its constitutional position, right? <clears throat> Rather, um, putting an ID on a conditional level doesn't serve the purpose. You know, person remains incomplete with uh, incomplete IDs. So, uh, um, I had little difficulty in find out some spiritual names, uh, which I think should be appropriate. But uh, oh, Krishna gave me and the idea of uh, putting uh, a trick. <laughs> no, I had to do um, um, at least one couple's name. <laughs> So please bear with me. <laughs> it was difficult to even find the appropriate names from Vishnu Sahasranam, Radha Sahasranam. Oh my God, I have a compilation like anything. Uh, but it should be properly denoting to our reality. And um, it's a fun um, to investigate and to that. So anyway, <clears throat> spiritual names are non different from uh, either its meaning or the possessor of that name. It is uh, so much um, uniformly adjusted. So here we are uh, uh, welcoming four couples uh, into a regulated spiritual life and they will try their best to follow uh, um, all the uh, requirements uh, so they can progress spiritually. Mm. All right. Generally, for the first initiates, uh, we um, recite the ten offenses, but uh, again, it's a matter of wrong ID that we were looking into uh, the first, the premise in a uh, material identification is faulty, uh, is very faulty, because we anticipate the same meaning of a person. Now, all this uh, nomenclature that has been uh, given, they are based on our religious scriptures pertaining to the name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead or his energies uh, who are in eternal uh, situations not temporary situations. So we are not addressing these names to temporary bodies. Rather, uh, it, the nomenclature will hit right straight uh, to the uh, soul. And uh, <coughs> Prabhupada would also sometimes uh, give uh, um, spiritual names with an anticipation that they deserve the name. They try to uh, meditate upon that name because now it is uh, a new name, new birth, new uh, way of looking into the life matters. So like that, uh, the um, identification of the uh, spirit soul in its constitutional position of servitorship to uh, Lord Sri Krishna, uh, the names have been given. But then names become potent. Names become potent by borrowing uh, Krishna's uh, potency through his own holy name. So <clears throat> uh, the soul will be uh, enthused, soul will be inspired, soul will be uh, making the progress. Body may not be making progress. Body has to follow the tenets of Vaishnava behavior. Uh, that the soul will dictate. So, uh, naturally, um, the highest culture of Vaishnavism will be developed and become exemplary, uh, you know, uh, starting from one's own home. Uh, uh, 
Recently, we have been giving talks on ideal family life. And uh, when uh, the question of how do you treat your partner, you know, uh, even though they are initiated, they never treat their partner as Vaishnav. So now it's an opportunity to understand deeply. Um, has any time a husband and wife pay their obeisances like wine chakal patar They never do. Better start practicing. <laughs> and, and you will make a tremendous change in your lifestyle. Uh, so <laughs> the goal of life will be, uh, you know, very straightforward. Anyway, <clears throat> so we need to know uh, the significance of the holy name. We need to know uh, what uh, is pure holy name and how it is recommended uh, uh, that uh, we must serve the holy name. Uh, the holy name is pure and therefore it has potency to purify uh, misconceptions, ideas which are coming down from uh, desires and these ideas are so much polluting our entire material life that uh, whatever we think we contemplate on that object and then we get into mess till we destroy ourselves. Uh, but Krishna's names are so powerful, identical. So uh, the glories of the holy name has been described in Padma Purana by Lord Shiva to Parvati. The Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigra Purna Shuddha Nitya Mukta Abhinnatvam Nama Namino. The holy name is just like mm, uh, not a touchstone, but you think and it manifests, all right? Touchstone means you should come in contact uh, with that stone. But this is a stone simply by contemplating on it, the things start manifesting. That is called Chintamani. Uh, it's not a dull, dead stone, uh, just like Vaidurya money or Semantak money, which by contact yields uh, some beneficial things, right? But here it is Chintamani, means simply by contemplating on the name, the possessor of the name, the Supreme Personality of God had manifest. Mm. That is Chintamani. You chant his name and he manifests instantly, right? <clears throat> Materially, uh, any name that has to be saying, um, um, mo make some sense, just like instant coffee. Right? You have to take a powder and then you have to get in touch with the milk and dissolve it. It takes time to manifest coffee. But here is Chintamani. Uh, and it doesn't take time, simply by thinking. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> wish fulfilling trees are there, surbi cows are there, so many are there, but none is so dynamic like the holy name. Kalpataru, wish fulfilling trees are there. Uh, surbi, uh, just you ask and she will give you, but you have to ask, right? Javanagni Rishi had a Surabhi cow and Kartaviri Arjun and so many, even Indra became very uh, envious, you know. Everybody wants to steal their Surabhi cow because they saw uh, um, when Kartaviri Arjun came with so many soldiers to the ashram of uh, Rishi, uh, Rishi instantly said, my dear Sur Mata, all these kingly people came, I have to feed them. So she started il uh, yielding barfi and other things right away, you know. So this is Sur cow. you don't have to cook barfi. She will give you directly barfi. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Kalpadaru, you have to sit under this wish, wish fulfilled desiring, desire tree and beg. All right? But this is Chintamani, you don't have to beg. Uh, but you have to surrender to the Holy Name. You have to ask what service I will do. Mm. So the Holy Name has to be served, uh, not uh, that we will ask something. Oh, um, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, please for, um, make Krishna appear before me. No. Krishna is there, but we will have to transform our vision, you know, by the effect of purification. So it can be instantaneously done or it may take ages. The span of uh, the, uh, the product will depend upon us how much time do we take. So it is better be regulated and make a definitive progress as it So uh, Shiva says, Nama Chintamani. Uh, Chintamani and the name should not have any difference between them. Uh, you can't uh, distinguish um, the Nam and the Nama Prabhu, Krishna himself. You can't. So, Rupa Goswami says, Atah Krishnasya namadi na bhavit grahyam indriye sevanam mukhehi jihvada svayam spuratyam evad. The recommendation is that our dull, blunt senses, uh, they have no access to the import of the Holy Name. Rather, our senses must be engaged in the service of the Holy Name so that it can reveal itself, because it's a superior energy. Superior energy, when served by the inferior energy, uh, reveals, revelation comes, right? Just like a servant uh, is given uh, uh, access to know the personality of his master, if he serves him faithfully, he will reveal himself, you know? He doesn't have to make a different effort, so, sevanam mukhehi jivado svayam spuratyam evadya. Simply by serving through starting from the tongue, ear, eyes, nose, touch, all the senses. Uh, <coughs> along with the vibration of the tongue, you should utilize other four senses also. Uh, so, the mind will be fully engaged. Uh, so <coughs> it is said, Krishna uh, Nama Chintamani. Nama Chintamani Krishna Nobody else's. Not other names. Uh, oh, I'm chanting Vasudeva. Uh, uh, somebody wrote me, uh, Maharaj, I'm making a book, I'm just publishing. Can you just give me initiated name? The person is not chanting Hare Krishna Mahamanda. He says, chant Krishna is good enough. People have weird ideas, you know. They don't know how much offense unknowingly is committed by so-called fertile brain. He's an IT graduate, you know, from Kharagpur, nowhere else but but Khadakpur, he doesn't know. Khadak means what? <laughs> A sword. Huh? And bhakti is just like walking on the edge of the sword. Kshurasya dhara. Huh? So this Khadakpur, people have uh, materialistic brain. They come in contact with, uh, you know, devotees and they want to uh, uh, even take over that field of spirituality. But with their own ideas. It's not fertile brain, it is dull. Uh, he doesn't have vacancy in his brain to understand spirituality. So what can we do? Uh, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Krishna Nama Chintamani. Right? We chant the recommended mantra because it is the prescription. Uh, and we do not go beyond the prescription 
to make a desired effect. So this is a proven fact why he has to invent a new name. Right? <laughs> Many upstarts, even just to seek for popularity, they construe uh, similar mantras. Uh, uh, Hare Soham, Hare Soham, 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 Hare Hare. <laughs> Hare Mohan, Hare Mohan, 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 Hare. The Soham and Mohan has vast difference, right? And qualitative oneness, but the difference is humongous. They don't understand, but they want to have an identical, you know, popularity of Hare Krishna's. Anyway, Krishna takes care of them nicely. Uh, the person stopped his entire matha, you know. And such fertile brains also happen in Gujarat, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, he was from Baruch. Mm, yes. Anyway, Nama Chintamani Krishnasya Rasavigra is the embodiment of all the mellows. Mm. To taste the holy name with different mellows uh, actually is the art of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Uh, oh, I have no taste, my mouth is drying up, so I can chant other mantra because Hare Krishna Mahamantra is not suitable to me. Mm. Uh, the seed of Mahamantra, if they are stone in an un unfertile ground, do you think it will grow? No. We are told, uh, don't commit that offense. <coughs> mm. uh, the preciousness has to be understood. Uh, the spiritual preciousness is uh, worth billions of dollars. Uh, <coughs> So, uh, Lord Shiva says that uh, Krishnasya nama chintamani rasa vigraha. Vigraha means uh, the embodiment that will uh, reciprocate with our sentient feelings. Uh, embodiment. Now, this embodiment is transcendental embodiment. Right? Because there is transcendental energy is there. Transcendental modes are there. Both come together, make an embodiment. Uh, right. This but material embodiment is material energy coming in contact with the three modes of material nature makes a body. So the spiritual configuration is based on uh, spiritual energy coming in contact with spiritual modes. Mm. Satchidananda are spiritual modes. Uh, and uh, energies are Sandini, Samvit, and Ladini Shaktis. So Krishna's configuration is not material at all. He may look like us, but uh, his body is uh, not made up of nasty things, of three modes of material nature. So, <clears throat> Krishna Sinama Chintamani Rasavigraha. And this constitute Purna Shuddha is completely pure. So, uh, when there are no material modes affecting, the purity um, is, you know, considered to be the extremely most valuable. Uh, Nitya Mukta. Such things which has no effect of the three modes of material nature must be independent, Swarad. So, Krishna is independent, Krishna's holy name is also independent. Krishna reserves the right uh, whom he shall expose himself. Yenatma labbhena tan labhyate. If he uh, wishes by his own sweet will to bestow his mercy upon a uh, living entity, it is his jurisdiction. Nobody can interfere. Right? That is called complete independence. Swarat. Tene Brahma Radaya Adi Kavaye. 
he was the or Swarat is able to um, uh, give uh, successive knowledge and even prove himself without aid of anything. Krishna doesn't have to prove that he is the Supreme Lord, personality of Godhead. But yet, uh, there are so many agencies that will put up because they are advocates on behalf of Krishna. They love to fight on behalf of him. And Vishal Prabhupada said, our Gosthyanandi uh, nature in ISKCON is um, giving up hard time to, uh, giving hard time to the Mayavadis, impersonalists, go after them, chew their tail. Uh, that's, that's the nature of the devotees. Uh, they can't tolerate, um, you know, bluffs about Krishna. You know, actually it, it, it exposes their bluff. You know, so Guru Sadhu Shastra Vakya Chitti De Aikya. It comes from there. We have to refer. Uh, advocates always refer to the previous judgment that has come and then infer with uh, similar identical cases the same judgment. Uh, Prabhupada said this is a valid, uh, you know, system to, to uh, uh, logically ex accept it as truth. So, <clears throat> Purna Shuddha Nitya Mukta Abhinna Tvamana Manamino. Abhinna means harmony, no difference. It is homogeneous, can't separate. All right? So, Nam and Namina, the holy name and the possessor of the holy name. Possessor is the personality of Lord Sri Krishna and it is his no holy name Krishna. So the, the holy name Krishna is identical with the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna. Right? This nomenclature uh, um, in spirituality is an absolute level. So anything pertaining to Krishna either his holy name, his dham, his devotees, they are non different from Krishna. Eternally liberated. So, we have been given opportunity to progress in this direction of making our qualitative oneness uh, always uh, predominant by self-realization, by properly engaged in devotional service, you know, so naturally, when the holy name is non different than the possessor of the holy name, uh, we have to be very, very uh, alert and uh, um, cautiously chant the holy name. We should not chant unconsciously. Unconsciously means unattentively. Inattentive chanting is also uh, going to. Um, mm, hurt the feelings of transcendental nature. So we should not allow that kind of, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> um, chanting inattentively. Right? Because inattentive chanting is coming under Nama Bhas. It's like um, shadow chanting or uh, um, unintentional chanting, you know. As if uh, 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 our, our uh, tongue and other, they got loose and they, they have ha form a habit to vibrate. Uh, but the vibrations, uh, if you see, they can be only alphabets too. Tongue can chant only alphabets. But the soul, when it puts its attention in the activity of chanting through the tongue, uh, the soul uh, puts his attention for the hearing, the sound vibrations coming, then all other senses engaged consciously by the soul uh, becomes an effective means to uh, purify us fast without 
much difficulty. And so remain that kind of uh, and consciousness, you know, mm. will, will develop us fast. So this is the service attitude to the Holy Name. And if we cultivate, then we will be able to uh, stop most of the offenses, except one, the most dangerous. And it is a very serious matter. It is not laughable matter. Uh, that is called Vaishnava Parad. Hmm? Vaishnava Parad, Namno Balad Yasya Papt I'm sorry. What is that first uh, verse? Uh, uh, <coughs> All right. To blaspheme the devotee or who has dedicated his life in propagating the holy name of the Lord uh, is the first and foremost offense. Uh, but the offense has been created by cultivation of uh, wrong habits called anarthas. And nobody has checked us. We are the Lord and Master of ourselves, uh, whatever we survey. So where is the question of, you know, knowing that what is the uh, um, offense to a devotee? Mm -hmm. uh, but it is considered to be the foremost and most formidable offense. So much dangerous that it virtually wipes out all our devotional credits. Hmm? So one has to uh, save the credits even for the sake uh, that he may not um, uh, fear of punishment, but he will lose all the credits. Uh, so even Krishna cannot save. Hmm? Brahma, Shiva will not save even um, this Durvasa Muni who offended um, Ambarish Maharaj. Right. Rather, he was chastised and kicked out from the uh, shelter or giving him association. The <clears throat> pure devotees, Brahma and Shiva, uh, they would not want to give a shelter to such an aparadi. You know, want. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also taught very hard lesson to Vallabhacharya. Hmm? That uh, most of the devotees would not, you know, speak with him when he told that he has refuted Sridhar Swami's, you know, commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, that is not our tradition. Uh, you can't jump up on your Swami. It's like prostitution. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used the words huh, so heavily and that will give a shock treatment. And he was so bewildered, so bewildered, he did not get anything, any mini. But those who are followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they immediately understood and mm, as if uh, a person has some kind of uh, what you call communicable disease, he must be kept out. So similar. Uh, so uh, one must carefully avoid even the thoughts which might pop out in the beginning. Because if thoughts are there, then the mind will create offense, and if mind creates offense, the body will create offense. So, from a very subtle um, offense, uh, it becomes gross offense. And that is very wrong. It comes as a blasphemy. Uh, so, one must avoid uh, even the thought. Uh, <clears throat> so, Yamunacharya, uh, such a pure devotee, uh, he, he would say uh, 
that uh, a wrong thought comes in his mind, uh, just like uh, uh, thinking of sex pleasure, he said, my tongue will uh, turn into disgust and call and I spit at the thought. Uh, that level of, uh, you know, uh, detachment with even the thought uh, is a very, very stern example. Uh, that uh, the great devotees, you know, they try to protect even for it's an offense or an insult to the whole, uh, to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. You know, where this is our root cause of material thing, then we need to uh, um, gradually come up, you know, help ourselves and uh, help each other in such a way that it will be uh, uh, controlled, you know. <coughs> Second offense um, is to consider the names of Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of the name of Lord Vishnu. Uh, this offense is coming uh, uh, from uh, a bad training. Bad training. Uh, after all, um, people are very well uh, accustomed in each and every religion that they have to chant the holy name. But <clears throat> they think, what is in a name? Huh? What is in a name? Name is simply an identity. But you can chant mumbo jumbo, coca cola, whatever you think, then, then everything is the same. But the person does not realize huh, that. Uh, the uh, uh, spirituality and materialism, both are, uh, um, you know, completely, you know, opposite to each other. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> uh, chanting uh, Hare Krishna Mahamantra uh, is on the highest uh, uh, spiritual calculated level, you know, and it is ascertained by um, the great uh, authorities, uh, Adi Shankara, uh, then others uh, also there, um, uh, Ramanuja, Madhvacharya, Nimbark, like that. They are there. Uh, then uh, we see um, people think that uh, they have been grown up in a particular environment where predominant uh, worship of Lord Shiva is there. Actually, Brahma is, there's only one temple in, in India, but the rest is in uh, Thailand. Recently, one uh, Iravan temple, they call it Hindu temple, got a bomb blast and so many people died more than 21 or so, something like that. <clears throat> but it was not visited by Hindus. It was visited mostly from the Buddhist and the Chinese. It was a tourist attraction. But uh, uh, the situation is that uh, <clears throat> Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma, they are guna avatars of Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu, even if he comes as Guna Avatar, right, to um, um, control the mode of goodness, he is not affected by mode of goodness. He cannot be subjugated to karma in mode of goodness. People don't understand that. And his expansions as Brahma or Lord Shiva, uh, Krishna's expansion or transformations to be. One is a jiva, is Krishna's transformation. And, and, and Lord Shiva is also Krishna's transformation in an opposite realm of uh, indulgence with mode of ignorance. So uh, incarnation of mode of ignorance and incarnation of mode of patience, both are subjugated by um, the three modes. 
you know, and they admit. So their activities are uh, uh, coming under the subjugation of the creation of material world. Uh, so spiritually they will have to make their own efforts to remain intact. And both have chanting bead. Krishna doesn't have chanting bead. Uh, it comes in, in, in the tenth canto uh, in Dwarka Leela. Narad Muni is trying to examine the activities. He was wondering how one Lord Krishna can satisfy 16,108 wives and so forth. And when he visited each and every uh, palace, uh, Krishna was engaged in so many different activities simultaneously. All right? In one play, palace, he saw that Krishna is meditating on himself. Krishna is meditating on himself. Uh, well, Lord Buddha also meditated on himself. That, that's nothing wrong. And uh, he taught, uh, if you meditate on yourself, you will get nirvana. Okay? Means you will be finished. <laughs> Better you meditate on Krishna and you will live forever. Hmm? If you meditate, uh, but when Krishna meditates, uh, he doesn't have material conception. Uh, but he shows that uh, meditation on the Supreme uh, as Paramatma feature is essential. You know, because he's the source of all. Uh, existence of our reality. Even in temporary life, we owe to Paramatma feature. So, anyway, to consider the names of Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, to be independent of Lord Vishnu, uh, that's an um, offense. Or are they are equal? No. Mm. They are also not equal. You know, one is peck pure, another is contaminated with the moods. So naturally, their functionality is for us to uh, pull us out that as part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, we should be also uh, got rid of the three modes of material nature. Because they are trying, they are our leaders, uh, and we have to follow. Mm. So both are Mahajanas, pure devotees. So, uh, devotees uh, are identical with Lord Krishna in quality, not in quantity. One is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but the other is Supreme Personality of Servitor of Godhead. So, one is a servant, another is the master. Both are on the... Uh, um, atmosphere of Godhead's realm means in Goluk Vrindavan uh, where the supreme position uh, is there. So both are residing simultaneously as an eternally and liberated associates. Right. The third offense is to disobey the orders of spiritual master. Spiritual master is interested only in spiritual life uh, and progress of his disciple and uh, he will give instructions pertaining to them. Uh, uh, he is neither a troublemaker or, or a troubleshooter <laughs> in the material life. <laughs> Rather, he uh, is a friend and well-wisher of uh, a whole family. So, mm, a proper uh, appropriate guidance is there. And the problem, uh, we know universally that every material problem has only a spiritual solution. So he's ready to give uh, spiritual solutions. There won't be material solutions uh, that one has to enjoy or suffer himself. <laughs> the fourth uh, offenses to blaspheme Vedic literature, literature in persons of the Vedic version. The fifth is uh, to 
consider chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra to be in imagination. And sixth is to consider, um, I mean, uh, to give mundane interpretation to the holy name of the Lord. These three simultaneously are applied to those who have uh, uh, egoistic material education. Uh, they take liberty uh, to uh, even blaspheme the Vedic literature, you know, because he is um, having very limited knowledge of uh, some discipline, but it is only meant for his material existence. He can't, uh, you know, use that intelligence uh, to um, justify or, or, or discredit um, spiritual life. Spiritual literatures, Vedic literatures, are not only wish-fulfilling desire trees, Nigama Kalpataror, Kalpataru, Nigama, all the Vedic literature are uh, wish fulfilling. But people uh, are uh, not careless, but they want an easy way. You know, can you put Vedas in one capsule and then take and everything will be fulfilled? No. Uh, because Vedas are thinking of mutual interest between uh, the every living entity uh, in connection with the plan of Krishna. That they can mutually, you know, help each other. Uh, one of the mutually helping each other program is, you eat me, I eat you, like that. Huh? Jeeva jivasya jivanam. One life subsists on another. Hmm? But uh, there should be natural sequence in it. Uh, but man is violator. He wants to eat everybody. Huh? Everything. He thinks whatever crawls, he will put in his mouth. Huh? Is very envious of life. Right? So he developed false ego in acquisition of some position in the society or in the workplace or in education field. But this is all uh, a gyan. This is not liberating situation. What it is going to liberate you from? Not even ignorance. Uh, one has to be liberated from the ignorance. Now, ignorance of what? A reality. They think um, whatever we see, whatever we measure through our five senses is the only reality. No, it is temporary. And with imperfections, with four defects, oh my God, uh, uh, he's so much misguided person. But nonetheless, out of false ego, they uh, criticize the Vedic literature. Uh, they do not understand the purport of Vedic. They are getting confused because one uh, smruti uh, does not, uh, you know, agreeable uh, or uh, agrees with other smruti shastra. Right? Srutayo uh, bhinna. They are differently. Uh, uh, compiled by uh, Vyasadeva in order to uh, target those mentality of people only. So, benefit is there for them, not for everybody. So, if the shoes fit, you wear it, otherwise don't put your shoe, I mean, foot in another shoes. Right? It is so specialized, so individualized, so much uh, that everybody finds, but in Kali Yuga, they don't have time to even read and find and, you know, explore or do the research. Even computers fail through, uh, you know, keeping all the Vedas intact. 
They can't, uh, you know, put up all the memories of Vedas together. Otherwise, you would have got the program. Have you, have you seen any program of Vedas? No. That's so extensive. Uh, so many scholars have written and added and, you know, it, it fills volumes and volumes and volumes, you know. <coughs> so, <coughs> one can easily misinterpret. But he has audacity to give uh, a kind of different understanding than what is standard given by Srila Prabhupada or, or just like Ch uh, Hare Krishna Mahamantra has a very simple, straightforward meaning. It's an address to the energy of the Lord to engage our energy in the service of the Lord, huh? ourselves, right? Like that. So, <coughs> uh, but no, they don't understand. Uh, they, they will put one meaning, oh, Krishna means black. Uh, uh, another as Hara means green, black, green. Oh, it is combination of colors. And when you chant Hare Krishna mantra, you know, it will flare up in your eyes. Color combination. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hara means green. Um, Krishna means black. So they may think this uh, are some kind of flag is there. <laughs> so they will try to construe them. No, nothing doing. They say it might be part of meditation, but no, no, no. So many misinterpretations, uh, <coughs> you know, they can come up with, but none is fitting. Mm. Chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh Radharani, oh internal potency of Lord Krishna, please engage me in service of Krishna, who is all attractive and all blissful personality of God. You know, so, uh, as this is called Seva Mantra, mm, and it must be properly respected. Then, <coughs> The seventh offense is to commit sinful activities on the strength of the holy name of the Lord. It is like uh, Shaucha Kunjaravat, you know, try to purify your existence and then uh, go out and sprinkle dirt again, you know. So it will be uh, very cumbersome. Uh, sometimes the dirt remains more on the body and again if he washes, um, you know, it will be there accumulating. Uh, so, <clears throat> you will get tired to take bath. So, if uh, you prefer to remain dirty, you know, there are people, you know, they don't take bath at all. <laughs> really, in the Western world, they say it's very cold, so there is no need to take bath. Conserve water, they say. <laughs> huh? uh, so, <clears throat> eighth offense is to <clears throat> consider chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra uh, to be uh, one of the auspicious ritualistic activities offered in the Vedas as Karmakanda. We are not Karmakandi, we are not going to get any material benefit like a peace of mind even. Uh, uh, we will be in total anxiety of how to serve Krishna. We are not asking for peace. Chant Hare Krishna. No. <laughs> we are asking, happily engaged in service of Krishna, right? Uh, forget the peace of mind. Uh, where is the peace of mind? Hmm? When the soul is satisfied, mind will automatically be satisfied. You know. So, engage in that activity, you know. So, uh, we are not karmakandis. We do not anticipate any material results because our sankalpa uh, is to take shelter of the holy name for the pleasure of the holy name or Supreme Personality of God uh, through service of the holy name. Uh, 
We are, this is our, my dear Lord, you may be pleased by my chanting. Oh, oh I wanted um, Mercedes Benz. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Hare. <laughs> no way. That is far, far, you know, uh, unrealistic vision. So, uh, chanting, uh, however, has to please Guru and Krishna. Uh, that is the, uh, um, what you call, reciprocatory perceptible uh, vibration. Uh, and Krishna hears. Mm. He has his eyes, ears everywhere. You know, he is sitting the closest to us. Uh, within the core of our heart, where we reside, he resides there. Not only that closest, he said within, jiva. Minute atomic jiva, Krishna is smaller, uh, become, becoming smaller to enter into the jiva's heart. So, what a sub-atomic level that uh, he is existing. Uh, but, uh, one is given guarantee to visualize that through serving the holy name. So the highest benefit is there. Huh? It is said in Srimad Bhagavatam, Vidyate Radaya Granthi Chindyanti Sarva Shamsaya Kshiyanti Chasya Karmani Drashta Eva Atma Ishwari Eva Atma Ishwar. As the Atma is there, Ishwar is there. They come face to face. This is the perfection of the chanting. Simply by giving oral reception to the transcendental topics of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, it uh, removes all the inauspicious things from our heart. Uh, and if we do regularly, now you're going to do it. So it will become an irrevocable fact. And chanting sporadically is not, uh, you know, regular, but once uh, nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama sloke bhakti bhavati naishtiki. So, naishtiki bhakti means it's an irrevocable bhakti. It will not go back. Uh, it will um, become very steady, confirmed and uh, verified. So, this is the effect uh, that one is brought face to face. Evatma mm. Ishware, Atma and Ishwar. Atma is not Ishwar. Paramatma is the Ishwar. Right? So, but both the entities come face to face together. They were living, but now the, with the help of the Holy Name, uh, the soul is able to see the Super Soul who is the master. Amen. So, <clears throat> ninth offense is to instruct the faithless person about the glories of the holy name. Mm. Uh, we don't waste such precious holy name. So, we become alert to see who is who, who is what. We don't go after those who are not interested. Like that, you know, we can't force anybody uh, in the matter of love. Because you love Krishna, you love the holy name, you don't impart those who are not loving. Right? It's plain and simple. Mm? It's a matter of love. And tenth offense is to, uh, <clears throat> that we hear the glories of Lord Krishna's holy name so many times, repeatedly, as a constant reminder, we have most of the instructions is about the glories of the holy name. In the entire Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, or all the suggestions of Lord Krishna is chant his holy name. There is nothing a more predominant activity that we are supposed to do uh, in this version of literature. 
simply depend upon the holy name and everything will manifest uh, even our definition of faith is based on that uh, then krishna bhakti karile sarva karma krita hoy that is called shraddha it is given in chaitanya charitamrita right so uh, glories of the holy name has been heard by us from time to time the most effective instructions is simply on the holy name and still if we keep on maintaining a uh, miserly material attachment then again uh that how long can we keep ourselves uh immature mm. oh we are not certain oh we are not confirmed oh we are not you know able to do certain things and this and that uh, then do you think the association of the devotees is a miserly association no come on brother uh, like that we help uh, each other so in sankirtan movement we and derive uh, each other's potency as a congregational chanting it is so important we take shelter of the devotees ah chadiya vaishnava seva nistari cha paibe keva giving up association of the devotees we will never gain any tangible result nistar means conclusion we will never get uh, so uh, we need to uh, do it congregationally uh, and support our our spirituality uh, that will remove uh, uh, the um a weakness of the heart ignorance of the heart and all this anarthas and aparadas will be rid of them uh, that is the power of association is there so we pray today that may lord krishna help us to advance uh, and by becoming regulated and uh, we'll be able to make it through um, and going back home back to god so we have a very very nice uh, um householder devotees uh, who are willing to uh make progress not as a try but uh they want to come on the path uh will be uh, uh very very commendable and uh i pray all the devotees please uh, bestow your blessings on them and the deities and the fire sacrifice uh, uh everything is becoming uh, uh, conducive to their vows taking and uh um wish they f- um make a very uh, speedious progress mm. so um jai chandra prabhu and i will i will call the couple set a time <coughs> please pay your obeisances and um, to uh, the deity and uh shila prabhupad is there uh all right all right
भगवान की जय सो चंद्र प्रभु एंड स्वप्न माता जी यू प्रोमिस टू चार्ट सिक्सटीन राउंड डेली विदाउट फेल और and four regulatory principles please enumerate them no intoxication no eating no gambling no sex okay very nice chand prabhu's new name is chandanangadi das There are couple of meanings uh, in in Vishnu Sahasra Nam. Chanda Chandanangadi means one who has attractive armlets, or one whose body is covered with chandan paste. And Swapna Mataji's new name is Swarga Lakshmi Devi Dasi. the heavenly opulent mm. all right smriti maharaj in raj kumar prabhu mm. pay your obeisances uh, you can also uh, pay your obeisances all right राजकुमार प्रभु एंड स्मृति माता जी सो बोथ ऑफ यू प्रोमिस मी एंड एवरीबडी दैट यू चांस सिक्सटीन राउंड विदाउट फेल राइट एंड यू नो द फोर रेगुलर प्रिंसिपल्स वर आर दोज एग्रीएबल ओके राजकुमार प्रभु नेम इज व्रजराज दास स्मृति माता जी नेम इज स्मरण भक्ति देवी दास <laughs> oh just prabhu and remember i have the hardest time to find your name <laughs> I, i was going to mention <laughs> there in the beginning i told you you know i was puzzled with their name <laughs> vishnu hardly has only one name that you already got it <laughs> Uh, out of thousand name no other names uh, and and uh, also on r there were only few names of radharani uh, radharani itself is a radharani but anyway i thought hmm. <laughs> uh, why don't you exchange each other's name <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, mm. is it easy for everybody? If I keep your name same, but then I will have to also give you some name. I won't keep your name same. <laughs> so, is there and anybody has a pen? 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 
I'll make some last minute change. <laughs> I thought uh, I should give her alphabet to him and his alphabet to her. <laughs> eh? But that, uh, I think it, it should be easy for you. Okay. I'm keeping your name is same to make her name is also easy. So your another new name is Ojas Das. <laughs> now, here comes the main culprit. <laughs> Oh, I didn't ask you. I took it for granted. Okay, you are the better half. Okay? You speak on behalf of him too. Uh, you promise chanting 16 rounds, both of you? Okay. You, you know your head after her. Okay. <laughs> what are the four regulative principles? No intoxication, no Wow, you cram it like. So naturally, your new name is Ojaswini Dedivdas. <laughs> it's okay. Ojas and Ojaswini Dedivdas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dharmesh Prabhu and Purvi Mataji. Yes, long waited. <laughs> yeah. Dharmesh Prabhu, <clears throat> you are the upholder of Dharma, right? Um, so, you do not need much change in your name. And Purvi Madhaji, uh, what is the meaning of Purvi? <laughs> Purva means before. <laughs> means we were existing before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you, have, have, you, have you been born in the eastern horizon? That is another. Uh -huh. There is hardly any name of Radharani on Purva. She is not Eastern or Western, you know, anyway. All right, give me first the promise of chanting 16 rounds daily without fail. And what are the four regulative principles? No eating, no intoxication, no disease, no gambling. Wow. Uh, Melbourne Temple has nicely trained you. <laughs> May have grilled you even. <laughs> All right. Dharmesh Prabhu's new name is Dharmakrit Das. That, that is a bona fide name of Lord Vishnu, one who acts according to Dharma. And Purvi Mataji's name is Prema Priya Devi Dasi. That means she passionately loves Krishna. Amen. All right. So, Prabhupada ki. Yeah. Hmm? On a Kadashi, what do you need more? Is there any rule? You may chant more rounds because ultimate aim is to uh, perform more seva on Ekadashi. Yes. We depend upon the simplest rules. We don't want our iskon to go complicated way, isn't it? Do you have any, any Ekadashi rules for initiates to chant more rounds, any specific number? Sometimes I have asked 
but uh, there, there is no compulsation. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 32 rounds, oh my God. I never went more than 25. Uh, anyway, they are more serious than me. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, somebody told me to. Uh, yeah, you, you can chant. Uh, Brahma Sanita is very auspicious. Yeah, yeah, you can distribute even. To, uh, mm. Give me one. Pada pad. Chintamani prakara sadma sukalpa vriksha Laksha vrte susurabira vipalayantam Lakshmi sahastra sata sambrama sevyamanam Govinda madi purusham tamaham bajamin Venum kanvantaram aravinda dalaya taksham Barahavatam samasitam buddha sundarangam Kandar pakoti kamaniya vishesha sobam Govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami Alo lakchandraka lasadvana malya vamsi Ratnangadam pranaya keli kalavilasam Shyamam tribangalalitam niyata prakasham Govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami Angani asya sakalendriya vritti manti Patshanti panti kalayanti chiranjaganti Ananda chinmaya sadujjvala vigrahasya Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Advaita Machuta Manadi Mananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusham Navayavanam Cha Vedeshu Durlabha Madurlabha Matma Bhakta Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Panthatu koti rasa 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 pragamyo Mayora tapi manaso muni pungavanam Sopyasti yat prapada vichintesimincha satve Govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami Ekopya saura chaitam jagadanda kotim Yachakshurasti sarvita yantaha Andantarastha paramanu chayantarastham Govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami Yadbhava bhavita dhiyo manujastha thaiva Samprapya rupa mahima shanayana bhusha so, I am Nigama Pratita is to one thing. Go in the Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Ekna Shinmai Rasta Pratipa Vitabis Tabir Ejan Jarupataya Kalabi. Go look even Nivasatya Kilatma Bhuto. Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadaiva Radeshu Vilokayanti Yamshama Sundar Govinda Madi Purusham 
ಕಾಮಾದಿಮೂರ್ತಿಷು ಕಲಾನಿಯಮೇನ ತಿಷ್ಠನ್ ನಾನಾವತಾರಮಕರೋದ್ಭುವನೇಷು ಕೆಂತು ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸಮಭವತ್ ಪರಮಪುಮಾನ್ಯೋ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಯಭಾ ಪ್ರಭವತೋ ಜಗದಂಡಕೋಟಿ ಕೋಟೀಶ್ವಶೇಷ ವಸುಧಾತಿ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಭಿನ್ನ ತದ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿಷ್ಕಲಮನಂತಮಶೇಷಭೂತ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ತ್ರೈಗೋಣ್ಯ ತದ್ವಿಷಯ ವೇದ ವಿತಾಯಮಾನ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಆನಂದಚಿನ್ಮಯರಸಾತ್ಮನಯ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಪ್ರಾಣಿನ ಪ್ರತಿಫಲ ಸ್ಮರುತ ಮುಪೇತ್ಯ ಲೀಲಾಯಿತೇನ ಭುವನಿ ಜಗಸ್ಯಜಸ್ತ್ರ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಗೋಲೋಕನಾಮೇ ಚ ತೀ ಮಹೇಶ ಹರಿಧಾಮ ಸುತೇಷು ತೇಷು ತೇ ಪ್ರಭವನಿಚಯ ವಿಹಿತಾಶ್ಚನ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಸಾಧನ ಶಕ್ತಿರೇಖಾ ಚಾವಯಸ್ಯವನಿ ಬಿಭರ್ತಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಇಚ್ಛಾನುಪೇಷ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ದೀಪಾರ್ಚಿರೇವ ಸಂಜಾಯತೆ ನಿ ತತ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಹೇತು ಯಂಭುತಿ ತಮುಪೈತಿ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ದೀಪಾರ್ಚಿರೇವ ಹಿ ದಶಾಂತರಮ್ಯುಪೇತ್ಯ ದೀಪಾಯತೆ ವಿವೃತ ಹೇತು ಸಮಾನ ಧರ್ಮ ಯಸ್ತಾದ್ರಗೇವ ಹಿ ಚ ವಿಷ್ಣುತ ವಿಭಾತಿ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಯಣ್ಣಾರ್ಣವಜಲೆ ಭಜತಿ ಸ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ನಿದ್ರಾಮನಂತಜಗದಂಡಸರೋಮಕೂಪ ಆಧಾರಶಕ್ತಿವಲಂಬ್ಯ ಪರಾಂ ಸ್ವಮೂರ್ತಿ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಯಸ್ವೈಕನಿಸ್ವಸಿತಕಾಲವಲಂಬ್ಯ ಜೀವಂತಿ ಲೋಮ ವಿಲಜಾ ಜಗದಂಡನಾಥ ವಿಷ್ಣುರ್ಮಹಾನೀಯ ಕಲಾ ವಿಶೇಷೋ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಭಾಸ್ವಾನ್ಯಥಾಸ್ಮ ಸಕಲೇಶು ನಿಜೇಷು ತೇಜ ಸ್ವೀಯಂ ಕ್ರಿಯತ್ ಪ್ರಕಟತಪ್ಯತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹಿಯೇಷ ಜಗದಂಡ ವಿಧಾನಕರ್ತ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಯದ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವಯುಗಂ ವಿಧಾಯ ಕುಂಭ ದ್ವಂದ್ವೇ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಸಮಯ ಸಗಣಾಧಿರಾಜ ವಿಘ್ನಾನ್ ವಿಹಂತು ಮಮಲ ಜಗತ್ರಯಸ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಯಶ್ಚಿಗಮಯಿ ಗಗನಮಂಬುದ್ಮರುದ್ಯಶ ಕಾಲಸ್ತಾತ್ಮತ್ಮಸಿ ಜಗತ್ರಿ ಯಸ್ಮತಿ ವಿಭವಂತಿ ವಿಶಂತಿ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಸಕಿಲ ಸಕಲಗ್ರಹಾಂ ರಾಜ ಸಮಸ್ತಮೂರ್ತಿಶೇಷ ತೇಜ ಯಶ್ಯಾ ಭ್ರಮತಿ ಸಂಮೃತ ಕಾಲಚಕ್ರೋ ಗೋವಿಂದಮಾಪುರುಷ ತಮಸ್ ಭಜಿ 
यम अथ काम जीवात्मात्रपुष प्रकट प्रभाव गोविंदमादिपुरुष तम हम भजा यस्वेन्द्र गोपमथवेन्द्र महो स्वकर्म कर्माबंधन भाव भाजनोति कर्मा निर्दहति किंतु च भक्ति भाजा गोविंदमादिपुरुष तम हम भजा यम क्रोध काम सहज प्रणयादिभीति वात्सल्य मोह गुरु गौरव सेव्य भाव सांचित दृश्य तनुपुरे ते गोविंदमादिपुरुष तम हम भजा श्रेय कांता कांत परम पुष कल्पतर वो द्रुमा भूमिश्चिता मणिगणमयमृत कथा गानम नाट्यम गमनमपी वंशी प्रिय सखी चिदानंद ज्योति परम तदत्वादापी चयत्र क्षीराब्दी स्रवती सुरभी महानिमेशाख्यो व्रजती यही नमय भजे श्वेत दीप तमहम गोलोकय विंदे सत क्षितिरलचारा कतिपय ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादिर्दिर्गोविंद सर्वकारण कारण हर भो मेक योर शेप लाइक इन शू यू नो हो शू शेप come near So just do Archman again, just be, just quickly, just a few drops of water in your right hands before we begin. And of course, uh, throw in the grains. We'll just chant, you can chant along with me if you know the mantras. Om Ajnan Timiran Jasya Janan Jana Salakaya Chakshuram Balatan Jena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Swaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadam Hayam Dadati Swabhidandikam Swaha 
Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagajatam Sahagana Raganatham Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Pajit Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lilita Shri Vishakan Vitam Shcha Swaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shamati Veda Vyas Priya Swamini Tinamane Swaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shamati Bhaktivedanta Swamini Tinamane Swaha Namaste Sarasvati Devi Kauravani Pichadane Nidavisesha Sunyavadi Paschachade Satadane Swaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shamati Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Tinamane Swaha Shiva Shabana Videvi Dhaitai Kapabdaye Krishna Sambanda Vigyana Dhayane Prabhave Namaha Swaha Madhujajvala Premajha Shri Rupanuga Bhaktida Shri Gora Karuna Shakti Vigrahaya Namastute Swaha Nam Namaste Gauravani Shri Murtai Dinatarane Rupanuga Vadudapisadanta Dvanta Hadane Swaha Namo Gaurakushuraya Shakshad Varagyamote Vipalambada Sambodhe Padambu Jayate Namaha Swaha Namo Bhaktivanodaya Satcharananda Namane Gaur Shakti Shurupaya Rupanuga Varayate Swaha Gaur Vibhava Bhumistvam Nidisa Sajjana Priya Vaishnava Sarava Bhoma Shri Jagannathaya Te Namaha Swaha Vanchakalpa Trubas Cha Kripa Sindhu Bhyeva Cha Paritananam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha Swaha Namo Mahavadanya Krishna Pramapadayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurita Se Namaha Swaha Panchatattva Makam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Swarupakam Bhakta Vataram Bhakta Kyam Namami Bhakta Shakti Kam Swaha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dhinna Bandhu Jigat Bhate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Dhara Kanta Namostu Te Swaha Jayatam Surato Pango Mamma Manda Matera Giti Matsavasva Padam Bojo Radha Madna Mohano Swaha Devihad Brindaranya Kapadrumadha Shimad Radnagara Simasanasto Shimad Radha Shalago Vindadevo Prestali Be Save Jamano Smadam He Swaha Shri Manrasada Sarambhi Vamsivata Tatastita Kashan Vinesh Vinir Gopi Gopanatha Sveshtuna Swaha Atapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Brindabhaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sutta Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Swaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Savasari Gaurabhakta Vinda Swaha Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Swaha So we'll ask you initiates to stand, taking a banana in your right hand. So we're going to, as I chant this mantra, just carefully... Uh, just don't stand with your back towards the deities here or your Guru Maharaj, but uh, uh, carefully uh, place, so you can move your plates aside if you need to come in, for, yeah, and, and place the bananas carefully right on top of the fire. Make sure they go right on top there. Oh. 
Om Namo Brahmani Dava, Go Brahmani Tacha, Jagadita Krishna, Go Vindai Namo Namaha Swaha. Om Punamada Punamidam Punat Punamudachite, Punasya Punamadaya, Punameva Visishite Swaha. And you can sprinkle all the rest of your grains there as well. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare. 